What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Elude Stalwart Plays. Today we're going to be playing some Baldur's Gate. So this is either A, the pilot episode for Baldur's Gate 3, or B, just the technical demo of what Baldur's Gate 3 would probably look like. I thought about that once. I thought about just showing you guys some TikToks. That could be like maybe the premise for a podcast. What kind of TikToks do I like? Podcasts on the Elude Stalwart channel. Because like any one of them, like the TikToks, they go so many different directions. Any one of them could be like a whole topic or conversation. Shh, shh, it's on. Shh, shh, it's on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me transition this. Hold on. Look, it's on. Shh. Elves, dwarves, half elves, half orcs, gnomes, and tieflings have dark vision which allows them to see in the dark. Passive checks can reveal hidden details in the world around you. Explore thoroughly to discover Faerun's secrets. I do have a character I already created. I'll do Elude. I made a, an Elute stalwart where his, his, uh, his main, he was a bard. His main instrument was supposed to be a lute, but he started with a violin. And I was like, this is dumb. I named him Elute, and he's Violin Stalwart. I should have like made a separate character named Violin Stalwart. So I was like, ah. So I re-rolled, and then I started to think it. Well, let me make let me make a character for the stream. And I was like, what would that be? And I initially thought Zarbkin. I could do like maybe I could try to represent more of myself. And I feel like like what class would I be? I was sitting there looking at all the classes, and I was like, um, maybe Rogue. Maybe rogue like Zarbkin, because I think in World of Warcraft, I I did the same thing, this the, kind of the same thought experiment, like what class would I consider myself? And I thought warrior, but no, I got magical powers and abilities. I'm not just warrior. I got mana. So, yeah, I picked. I picked rogue. This rogue specifically, I laid him down before I, <laughs> I had the party just kind of chilling there. I was laying on the stone bed here. Uh, looks like I took some damage at some point. We're going to heal ourselves. There you go. So he actually has a loot, but uh, that's his secondary specialization. So uh, I actually went rogue primary with a loot stalwart here. And then we picked up at level two, a secondary specialization, which we decided to go uh, with Bard. And then this time we actually did get the loot. So there. Thunderland, Thunderland, thun, Shadowheart. You're the heart of my Shadowheart. Oh, here, let's give it to Asterion because Shadowheart still has the one we gave her. All right. And, and what's really cool <laughs> is... Uh, Check this out. Hold on, hold on. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. I'm trying to do something with the camera, guys. Ex can you? Let's... No, you keep your distance. You keep your distance this way. It elude. Over here, elude. Okay. Can you face this way? All right. All right. This is what I'm trying to do. This will be the introduction to elude's tower. So he's disguised right now as a drow. If I dispel the disguise, you could see my true form. <laughs> he's a little halfling. Right? Halfling? Tiefling? Can't risk being an open view. That's why I had to disguise myself. Here, this is his character. He's a strong heart halfling. That's what he, a tiefling is like the the devil looking guys. He's a halfling, a strong heart half. Legend has it that dwarven blood gave their strong hearts their hardiness, resistant to poison and wellsprings of endurance. These halflings easily hold their own. I got my guy equipped with some daggers, some good daggers. This one had an enchantment on it. But yeah, I thought it was cool he could disguise himself. So, uh, his notable features, these are those 
absolute bane, brave, halfling luck, opportunity attack, strong heart resilience, and superior padding. The padding is coming from my chest piece. He's got a hat on right now. I kind of have it uh, hidden. This is what the hat looked like. He's just illing on them. Illing on them for no reason at all. Doing it for them. But yeah, I run around in a disguise. You don't want them to know. Like we were talking about tiefling. I'll show you the tiefling. We'll be a masculine tiefling. Rekakao! And it's cool too because we can disguise our friends. Let's make uh let's make Shadow Heart. Let's make her a feminine. Let's make her a feminine strong human. Feminine strong half elf. Feminine strong elf. Strong drow. What is strong? What is versus what? Mass dragonborn? Is there something that's oh it's just fem? Oh, okay. Let's go, let's go mask drow. She's gonna be a drow. Oh no, they did it to me. Okay, let's let's make ourselves we're gonna be a tiefling again. Strong drow, strong tiefling. Uh, I think we've done something. <laughs> what is happening? I think I may have uh, botched the disguise. No, I did. I did it. I did. There, there, there he goes. Now, now we look regular. So we're gonna run around now because we're regular. And and he's sneaky because he's a rogue. So he's gonna sneak around. Oh, he got he got spotted. He said, "Stop that." He didn't like that I was sneaking. He's like, "Stop that." Why is the big devil guy sneaking around? I need a quick word. What do you mean, you people? All right, let's move on. All these rats will exit the stone door. I don't really have any way to track time. I do have some clocks in my face, but other than that, there's no real way to tell what time it is. Okay, okay, we're 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 coming in before the metaverse. The metaverse seems to be loading. So I'm, I think for streaming, for recording purposes, I may need to set the graphics down a bit. Now those guys are all inspired. I want to inspire myself. Can't target self. Okay, all right then. Let's uh, can I cancel cancel that? All right, what what it is, man? What it is, Volo? What's up? Uh huh. Oh yeah, we got in an intense battle. Okay, so ask your questions. Yeah, I definitely do. I'll give the exact description. That's what I said, isn't it? Day one, no dragon. What you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> he failed. <laughs> that was obviously a dragon. <laughs> uh yeah they called out their name like a wall of war cry i don't think so it was concentrating on not dying yes they called out the name like a war cry it's a wonderful story oh mcglubbiot the absolute mm. goblin superstition not worth an ink and parchment but it's not worth the ink and part he says hold your tongue we'll say goblin superstition not worth the ink and parchment oh we need someone to okay be careful goblins aren't known for their mercy Wait, about our conversation earlier, why the dragon? What brought you to this? What brought you to the wilds in the first place? I said, let, let's say, be careful goblins aren't known for their mercy. Or should I add the dragon? Let's add the dragon, because that was kind of, uh, wait. About our conversation earlier, why the dragon? <laughs> it's how you know he gets paid. Okay, so let's go. Would that we could. Um, I think with that, guys, we're going to wrap up today's episode of Elude Star Wars Plays, Baldur's Gate 3. This has been the pilot episode and technical demo to see if everything's set up properly. I think I need to set the graphics down a little bit so the world renders in and there's less judders. But other than that, y'all can look forward to this as I look forward to it along with you until next time. I appreciate you guys tuning in and uh, these will get better as I start to do more. I'll hone in the audio, I'll hone in the video settings and we'll start to get some uh, some proper episodes going here. And you know, I'm talking like, like that. All right guys, peace.